Hi, welcome to this tutorial on transformations of trigonometric graphs. Now, before we start, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the three graphs y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is apply the transformation y equals f of x plus alpha to each one of these three graphs. Now, f of x plus alpha, alpha being a positive constant or negative constant, represents a translation of alpha units parallel to the y-axis. Now to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is, first of all, draw on a set of axes that go from minus 360 degrees to 360 degrees, the graph of y equals sine x. I've let f of x equal the sine x, okay? So what does that graph look like? Well, as I say, you should be familiar with it. On this graph here, it's going from minus 360 to 360, and it peaks at 1, drops to negative 1, okay? Up to 1, down to minus 1, and so on. Okay, so let's have a look at this graph. y equals f of x plus 1. I'm adding 1 to whatever f of x was. f of x in this case was sine x. So I've got the new graph y equals sine x plus 1. So you'll see that the alpha here on the end corresponds to plus 1. So it's going to represent a translation of one unit parallel to the y-axis. We're going to effectively add 1 to any y value. So if we do that, the whole graph is going to shift up one unit. I'll show you. Okay, this is what we get. You can see that this point here was originally at one unit up. Now it's gone up to two. I've added one to that one there. Where it crossed the x-axis at 180 degrees, the y value is zero. I've added one to that and this point directly above it is at 1. And that applies to all the points along there. And so if I had this graph to sketch, y equals f of x minus 2, in other words, sine x minus 2, then the graph of sine x would move down 2 units. So if we were to draw that, that's what you're going to get. OK, so I hope you've got that, and we can apply this principle to any graph. So what we'll look at now, and I'll give you an opportunity to have a go, is we'll look at the graph of cos x. Now here's the graph then of y equals cos x. It's again a wave function going between minus 1 and 1. And I've let f of x equal the cos x. So what I'd like you to try and sketch is a couple of graphs, OK? This one here, y equals f of x plus 2, which is going to equal cos x plus 2. And I've got another one here. What about sketching y equals f of x minus 3? That would be cos x minus 3. So just pause the video and have a go at sketching those. and come back and uh, see if you've got the same answer as I've got. OK, well let's just see how you got on. Well, with this one, y equals f of x plus 2, cos x plus 2 in this case, all we need to do is translate this graph of cos x up by two units. So it just goes up by two units, so this point here will cross the y-axis at 3. OK, so you should have got this graph. All right? And for y equals fx minus 3, which equals cos x minus 3, all you've got to do is drop the original graph by 3 units. So this point here, where it crosses the y-axis at 1, just drop it by 3 units. 1, 2, 3 is going to cross the y-axis at minus 2. So you should have got basically that graph. All right. So I hope you've been able to manage that one. Quite an easy idea. 
and uh, we've got one more to do and that's going to be the graph of y equals tan x. Now you should be familiar with this graph. It's got asymptotes at minus 270, minus 90, 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Now what I'd like you to do is to see if you could just sketch then one more graph and that one will be y equals f of x plus 2 so we've got tan x plus 2. Again you might like to pause the video and uh, come back in a few moments and check your answer. Okay well let's just see how you got on. You should have basically a graph like this. Okay. What happens is that the original graph of y equals tan x just gets shifted up by two units. Our alpha value on the end here is 2, so we just push it up two units parallel to y-axis. So this point here was at the origin, it's just now gone up two units. All right? And that applies to all of these points, that 180, go up two units, and there it should be two units. Okay, so well, I hope that's given you some idea of how we can apply this transformation, y equals f of x plus alpha, to any graph, and in particular to these trig graphs. And that brings us to the end now of this tutorial.